Hi there, guys. Welcome to Midweek in India Chats. I am Muskan Kapoor, your host, and this is Jay Vora, who's going to help us through this entire week, how we saw and what we saw, and what we can expect coming forward. So yeah, without any further ado, I will just get right into it. So I have this really weird doubt. So on Monday, when the market opened, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial saw three percent gain. Is the downtrend reversing? What is happening? Why did this happen? Okay. So uh, what had happened was, I think there was some conference in uh, uh, some United Nation conference on trade and development. So they mm-hmm. urged the Fed to stop hiking rates because that mm-hmm. might, you know, start affecting, uh, uh, you know, the traders. I mean, the small businesses and you know the traders over there. So mm-hmm. so the whole point over there was that they were telling the Fed to stop. you know hiking the rates because that is something that might affect the growth and it might slow the market so so i think i i mean uh, if i'm not wrong then that is the uh, reason why the dow jones indices were higher in fact they were at okay. one point of time you know up around 3% or so so i am but you know to be very honest i'm not too sure if that is going to happen the the reason because uh, you know in the past when actually the pmi data and all were you know on the downturn the fed kept coming uh, the fed officials you know kept coming on the media and they said that you know they are not going to stop uh, hiking the rates unless okay. they don't see the inflation coming down and mm-hmm. if you recall you know even in our past interaction we have been trying to say that only that you know the market That's is expecting, yeah yeah so so the market w- you know since past three or four policy uh, you know meetings they are expecting the fed to pivot but mm-hmm. on the contrary you know the fed has kept on hiking rate that to by 75 mm-hmm. bips okay and now i think in fact when i read the pmi data just when it come came i think a day or two back so the september data on the contrary is not so bad okay in fact the manufacturing uh, pmi has expanded a little bit and the service pmi which was gone to around i think the reading when i last saw was 43 i think in august so that has come higher to 49.5 or something so you know more or less even that has uh, rebounded so in fact the data now is not so bad as it was in the past 2 to 3 months so i would frankly be very surprised you know if the fed goes ahead and they tell that you know we are going to stop hiking the rates and all because the fear was that the us indices is slowing down and all but this data at least the one which was released in september is not saying so and uh, and then you know if the fed is not going to stop hiking the rates then you know eventually it is going to affect the market so the whole point over here is you know not to uh, you know fight the fed and unless the fed actually doesn't pivot and it says that you know uh, you know bas ho gaya um, now we cannot hike further because the economy is slowing down and and that is why you know we would now actually uh, stop hiking the rates and we would now start cutting the rates or we might keep the rate stable i mean something of that sort of commentary if the market hears it then it might cheer but unless we don't hear it from the fed itself i don't think we should preempt it and uh, you know uh, think that uh, i mean the dow jones and all might come out of the wood because fed is going to pivot because uh, the one of the other reason is that you know when the bank of england when mm. they said that you know they would uh, start doing bond purchases and all so at that point of time market rallied okay but in the next two days the market gave up the gains and it made a newer low so there will be some short term knee jerk reaction that is because of the positioning of the market but will it uh, you know help dow jones change its downtrend in the near term that i am you know doubting okay makes sense so it's all it all depends on how moving ahead fed makes the decisions and takes this 
to actually see a reversal in the downtrend or otherwise it may continue as is with a little bit of hike due to other external forces correct so yeah uh, so the dollar index has corrected since the past few trading sessions has been correcting lately has it yeah. peaked out what is happening so yeah that is true that uh, the dollar index has been you know correcting in past mm-hmm. three to four trading sessions so i'll just uh, you know share the chart and you know share what it is yeah. happening in the dollar index so if you look at the dollar index so in the past you know three or four trading session back it had made a high of around 114.78 and since then it has corrected back to the uh, 20 day average okay so if you see in the past you know in in this entire move the averages are held on apart from this point you know that too when it was uh, quickly reclaimed so unless you know the averages doesn't break i wouldn't want to jump the gun you know saying ke the trend has reversed and you know it is going to fall because you know like i have been highlighting since past a uh, few of our interactions that the dollar index has broken out from this multiple resistance zone okay which was around mm-hmm. this 103 to 104 mark that yeah. has been broken after almost 6 years of consolidation so when a 6 years of consolidation breaks out it is unlikely that only you know 4 5 months of rally and it will fizzle it out i mean and mm. the uptrend will fizzle out that may not happen and and you know i had also highlighted earlier that it is nicely moving in a rising channel so it has not even you know touched the upper end of the channel yet so with this mild correction it gives them that uh, room to move higher towards the upside of around 117 118 and if you see on the daily chart specifically so this 40 hour uh, the 40 day exponential average was not breaking okay so unless that doesn't get broken and it doesn't you know break this higher top higher bottom sequence i think that you know this is just a temporary uh, pullback and once this is complete it might start moving higher now you know this is just the dollar index if i see all the other components internally okay uh, you see it usd gbp in fact usd gbp had uh, uh, you know that is the british pound you know that has seen a blow off top that is because of those policies uh which they i mean the boe had come yeah. out with so over there if you see the 20 day is broken but the 40 day exponential is still holding out okay if you see usd jpy and and by the way uh if you see the monthly chart of the usd gbp so we have highlighted that you know probably it is going to rise within this channel so over here also if you see it is far away from you know saying that it has peaked out okay mm-hmm. so so this is one then if you see usd jpy that has barely budged uh, despite you know central bank intervening and all you know it continues to stay above all the moving averages rather it is you know somewhat consolidating over here even over here if you see the monthly channel there is a lot of room on the upside now if you see usd euro ha huh. so if you see uh, the euro dollar over here as well there is some scope on the upside so even if you see the daily chart over here it is just pulling back and coming back to the 20 day average then if you see other currencies like usd cny which is the chinese yuan okay that had also seen an up move in fact there was a vertical move on this one and now it is seeing a pull back now if you see usd inr okay that has been consolidating above this breakout point and uh, it is trading well above the averages so if you take any of the currency you know none of them apart from the usd gbp has broken the 20 dma as well they are all coming back to the 20 dma and they are testing it now what they do yeah. over here would be crucial but my guess is that given that the primary trend right now is up so so you know eventually they will take support of the averages and they will start moving higher correct okay. while we were talking about uh, all the global markets and how they have been reacting to different situations 
I want to know how Nifty is doing as well. What if you could run me through a Nifty update? Sure, sure. So I'll hmm. just uh, you know open the Nifty chart. Hmm. So if you see uh, for Nifty, you know we had discussed uh, in the previous week as well that it is now coming to a crucial point, uh, which is around this gra- uh, around this gap area. So and around this gap area also coincides the twenty week moving average. So when you know such important support levels are uh, you know tested, and especially when the there is the prior trend that is up. which is because you can see over here that there was a very big pullback so you yeah. know most of people anticipate over here that the trend is bullish okay yeah. so when the index comes back to its crucial support level so then again you know they start anticipating that the minor degree correction is over and uh, you know the nifty index is going to rise again so that is okay. why you know you will uh, see a buying pressure whenever the nifty comes to a crucial support level okay which has what happened right now but if you see on the daily chart it is still you know trading below the averages and in fact we had highlighted as well and that there was a double top breakdown which has occurred now what has essentially mm. happened is that the nifty index has you know come back and it has retested this and in fact it has gone up a little more than the neckline uh, i mean the neckline level was around Ah, seventeen one sixty six or something. Now it has gone yeah. past that, but I think that as long as it is below the averages, the pattern is still in play and it might not be invalidated. So then you know we had seen that the pattern target was somewhere around sixteen three hundred or something like that. And if we do the Fibonacci retracement from the low to high, even that. comes to around uh, 61 uh, i mean the 61.8% comes to around 16300 level so both are coinciding yeah. around those zones and yeah. maybe you know once this minor degree pullback in the nifty is done you know it might start heading lower towards those levels and also you know one more thing which people shouldn't forget is that this is possibly a false breakout that has occurred okay yeah. and false breakout usually happens in a bear market and it might be a trap as well so yeah. this is how i am looking at it in fact if you see the bank nifty index that has actually turned out to be a weakest one so that you know since uh, past two weeks i mean prior to the past two weeks you know it was performing very well and it was yeah. outperforming nifty by a big time okay but now you can see in the past two week it has weakened considerably and moreover you know it has taken resistance at the october high okay so so now this is very significant i mean the bank nifty needs to break above it or else you know it is not a good sign i mean it might continue to weaken and given that you know we we are actually considering this entire move as an counter trend move okay which means that eventually there is a high chance that you know this low might eventually be tested so for that you know the first working level you know which we would watch out very closely would be the 20 week average which is i think somewhere around 37100 okay if that is broken on a closing basis that is when you know you would start anticipating that the bears might uh, get a grip and they might start you know coming back into that uh, momentum and okay. if you see nifty mid cap index if you see nifty small cap index you know all have you know after seeing a fantabulous rise you know almost you know like i had mentioned i think 12 or 13 weeks of non stop rally right. you yes. know have finally seen some correction so whether this top is taken out in a hurry or no that needs to be seen but the but our assumption is that this entire move you know beat for nifty beat for bank nifty beat for nifty mid cap or small cap everything mm-hmm. in, in all of these cases we are considering this as an x okay then sure. x generally in elliot wave terms are a pullback rally so once now you know given that this pullback rally has ended there is a good chance that you know eventually we drift lower now the pace 
at which nifty i mean all these indices might uh, drift lower is something that we are still figuring out because as of now you know we have not seen a clean five wave decline for now but you know as and when you know pattern develops and we get further more clarity maybe you know we can then even talk about the uh, you know the pace of the fall but as of now all we can say is probably a significant top is made and we are likely to correct in the weeks to come. But, uh, you know, like I mentioned uh, about the pace that, you know, we might need a little more time to figure out uh, how mm. strong or, you know, how slowly it might fall. Mm. Got it. We have all the time that we have because we will meet every week to discuss where Nifty and other markets are heading. So yeah, yeah. everybody will be up to date. And if they also want to be updated on a daily basis, they can be a part of the Insider Club and get daily updates of Nifty Bank, Nifty, etc. for the same. So yeah, that's how it is. Thank you so much for your time today. And I'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.